How's it going y'all? It's your boy Eric and today's video is about the air conditioner going out in your vehicle. Now the vehicle I'm gonna be vlogging about is a 2011 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. Now normally when the AC goes out it could be one of two things. It could be either one the resistor which is this thing over here or another thing that it could be it could be the AC heater blower fan which is this thing right over here and like I said it's on a 2011 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport normally typically for any car the AC heater blower is underneath the dashboard particularly behind the glove box for my particular car, I have taken the liberty of removing the glove box. The resistor, which is known to burn out for some cars, is located right here on the 2011 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. Go underneath, it's conveniently located right over there, held together by two screws. The AC heater blower has three spots where there are screws. One, two, three, and it's conveniently located right over there. Now when you're changing those parts, you would want to make sure that, first off, that your car is off, that your headlights aren't on, and that the negative power is disconnected from your battery. Me personally, what happened to me is when the AC went out, and the blower actually, I thought it was just a resistor, so I went ahead and swapped that out. But it turns out that it was much more than that. It turns out that the blower fan actually was messed up because the old one, it didn't move as easily. Here's the old one. Beautiful filming. All right, it doesn't move as easy, so I have to put a lot of effort into it. So as a result, what happened is it shorted out the resistor box with the uh, heat sinks on it, so I have to get a new one. Alright, so here's the new blower. Old, new. This new one, you can see how effortlessly I can spin the wheel. Now this for sure should work. I'm gonna swap out the parts right now. And we'll see how it goes. Alright, like I mentioned, the resistor is held in by two screws. So I'm going to fasten those. Like so. Next up is the AC heater blower, which will go right underneath there. It's really snug. And like I said, it, it's connected via three screws, which will hold it in place. Alright, once uh, everything is screwed in, just uh, make sure you connect a few other pieces. There's three things that need to be connected. The terminal for the blower fan, the hose, and also the plug for the resistor. You want to make sure that they snap in. Alright, that one clicked in. Now let's take care of the resistor. I'll click in and you just connect that piece and you're ready to roll. Right. Before you put everything back on, you want to make sure that the AC heater blower is working normally. Alright, so now's the moment of truth. We're going to test this puppy out, make sure it works. Alright, let's see. Put on the brake and ignition. Cross your fingers, hope that it works. All right, and here we go. And there we have it. Lo and behold folks, we do have air conditioner now. We do have the option to turn up the heat. But if you live in Texas, it's hot. 
and nobody got time for that. <laughs> Hi guys, so that was my what to do DIY video just in case the air conditioning blower goes out on your car. In this case, particularly Mitsubishi Outlander Sport 2011. If you like this video or if it was helpful, feel free to comment or like the video and feel free to also subscribe for more content that I'll be posting from time to time. Later.